सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज द डेटा मॉडल वॉट आर द डेटा मॉडल देर आर इन स्पेशल डेटा बेसिस देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा मॉडल्स वन इज डिस्क्रीट एंड अदर वन इज कंटिन्यूस सो द डिस्क्रीट टाइप ऑफ डेटा मॉडल इज नेम्ड एज वेक्टर डेटा सेट एंड द कंटिन्यूस टाइप ऑफ डेटा सेट इज नेम्ड एज द रास्टर डेटा सेट so what we actually do using the data model we have to bring that real world earth in our computer system for that we need that this data model so special database is a model of reality known as data model the user sees the real world through the medium of database and real world features can be represented as discrete and continuous that i have already discussed with you so what is vector data model you already know that this is a discrete type of data model and it is represented by point line and polygon so point identifies the location of any feature and line connects we, we when we connect two points it creates one line and areas consist of areas are generally the polygons that is the connected line segments so here you can see in this picture that this point i represent the x and y location 1 and 3 so that is x position 1 comma 3 there two two represents the position 1.8 comma 2.6 that's how the point feature is represented in vector data model and there are two types of representation in vector data models one is the spaghetti data model that is simpler that vertex i has a position x comma y that is 1 comma 3 and the segment a is represented by the from vertex i to 2 like here from i to 2 the segment is a but using topological model that is a bit complex model but it uh, stored the data more, more optimized way so in topological model the segment a is represented as the right polygon and left polygon for segment a the right polygon is the external polygon that is the that is external polygon and a is the internal polygon this is the uh, one po- this is one polygon and this is taken as the external polygon so based on that the in topological model the data is represented now let us see the what is the topological rules there are five topological rules that comes from the mathematics actually so what those five topological rules says so first every one simplex one simplex means that is the line arc or line must be bounded by two zero simplex that means the point so here you can see there is one zero simplex another zero simplex that is nothing but the point and one simplex is the line and it is bounded by two zero simplex second one is that every one simplex borders two simplexes two simplex means the polygon so here we can see that zero means point or node one means line or arc or two means polygon so every one simplex borders two simplexes uh, so this is the one simplex that is line it borders this polygon also and this polygon also so every one simplex borders two polygons every two simplex has a closed boundary so obviously a polygon is only a polygon when it is closed and around every zero simplex hd exist an alternating sequence of one and two simplexes like for creation of this polygon we have to have one zero simplex then one one simplex then one zero simplex so alternating zero and one for creating a two simplex so or i can say that zero simplex exist an alternating sequence of one and two simplexes so here you can see this zero simplex is exist of alternating one simplex and two simplex here one simplex then two simplex then one simplex then again 
two simplex so you can see here it the circular in a circular way and five what is five the one simplex is only intersects at their nodes so here you can see the one simplex means line only intersects at the nodes so here one node one line simplex is there that is one simplex and here is another one simplex and that intersects in a node that is a zero simplex so that is the topological rules so what is raster data model raster data model represents the reality through the cell patterns that is a type of grid in a grid pattern so here you can see using these pixels the raster data set this you can call it grid or pixels based on this grid or pixels the raster data set is represented and it's uh, uh, how, what are the phenomenon can be represented using this raster data model that is dame elevation model so this pixel have one elevation like 30 meter this have another like 31 meter that's how the dame is represented in a raster form or temperature can be represented uh, suppose this is 30 degree temperature in a same way this is 30 degree celsius temperature this is 31 degree celsius temperature that's how it can be represented land use can be represented like if i say this is forest then it, it's a forest and if i say this is uh, urban area then it is an urban area that's how the raster data model represented in in computer so in in a grid format so raster data model can be stored in uh, in four ways one is chain code one is run length code one is block code and another one is quad tree and quad tree is the most popular model and currently many of the computers stored in quad tree model only so what is chain code the, this uh, this is the north side is represented by 1 east side is 0 south is 3 and west side is 2 so here in this box suppose i want to represent this polygon so how can i represent so this is uh, where it is it is cell number 10 1 2 3 4 this is cell number 10 and column 1 so here it is 0 because i am going to the east side and then one because i am going to the north side and then again two zero so that is represented by zero to the power two so that's how the chain code is represented in raster data model that's how the computer stored a polygon so next we can see the run length code so i want to represent the same polygon but here in row nine what are the uh, thing is there one is in the second column one box is there one pixel is there or one grid is there and another one is in three then six uh, comma six one is two comma three another one is six comma six then we can say eight comma ten so that's how in run length code the raster data model is represented then there is block code now let us see how the block code is represented the block code is represented by in such a way like this is the row 1 and here the first 4 are the x feature so 4x then 2r so r is the uh, this green one so this green is here and there is 2r and then 3w so w is this blue one so there is 3 w so fa first that is 4 x then 2 r then 3 w and at last there is one yellow again so 1 x so that's how in block code that is represented so after that that is the quad tree model so what is the quad tree model so in quad tree model you can see here there is 
in quadri model the fast is the node and then one from one node there are four another node if in this feature one the whole thing is represented by only one object so that is one only so we cannot divide we will not divide it in further four pixels so we will keep it as it is as one but in in the in the feature number uh, this is one this is three this is eight but this is further divided into four features so we have to divide it in 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 four pixels so we have to divide this pixel in four pixels one is seven another one is ten and another one is 31 and 11 suppose this is the forest area so whole thing is represented by the forest area so we will not divide it in for another pixel to store the data and suppose it is this is another feature and suppose this is the urban land and this this whole area is urban land but here one is the water body is there and here is one water wetland is there and here one fallow land is there and agricultural land is also there in one area so we have to further divide that pixel if we have another feature here then we have to again divide this pixels also in 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 four four parts so like like this way the data is stored in in raster format using quadri model so that is all about the uh, vector and raster data models so in the next video we shall see the database uh, types of database and what are the special databases are there so that's all for this video thank you